Hello, everybody. We've got a very weak cold front pushing on through, and it will take care of the fog situation. As far as precipitation, it's chance to slight chance category with this thing as it moves on out. See a lot of moisture out here, but that is destined to head into Canada as a ridge of high pressure builds and we start a prolonged dry spell. For the coastline, low to mid 60s for daytime highs, just a chance of a shower and a little bit of fog formation later tonight. Lows dropping down to the upper 40s. Morning fog and spots today will dissipate and there will be a slight chance to a chance for a shower. Daytime highs in the 60s. Overnight lows tonight dropping down to the 30s to mid 40s with fog forming. And east of the Cascades, windy spots, daytime highs, low to mid 60s, generally partly cloudy. I had to put it in a slight chance of a shower, mainly up towards Chamalt. And then clearing a bit tonight and lows dropping down to near 30 degrees. The extended outlook is a dry spell. The forecast question for western interior valleys, fog duration during those morning hours. I'm actually reasonably optimistic for a fair amount of sunshine putting in mid 60s. Otherwise, if that fog, of course, lasts a little bit longer, it'll definitely affect those maximums. Head up into the higher terrain, we're looking at a better chance of sunshine as far as confidence factor is concerned. It'll be warm afternoons, but we'll have some chilly mornings as we head away from the western interior valleys. And for the coastline, we do have offshore flow, allowing for plenty of sun Friday, Saturday at least.